Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Nelly from Hoop and I. Today I bring you a super highly anticipated sneaker review, the Adidas Dame 5. All right guys, I'm gonna say this right now. The Dame 5 is one of the best hoop shoes out right now. Y'all probably think, yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Now that is a heavy and bold statement to open up the sneaker review with. Yeah, I know, and I stand by it. Let's get started. In my hands, I have the Dame 5 in the Chinese New Year colorway, which is an Asia exclusive only. Shout out to my homie Brian for helping me cop these. I'll see you back in Macau soon, bro. But these right here, Adidas Dame 5s, let's get started. As always, we're gonna start off with the traction. The Adidas Dame 5 has an outsole that consists of an aggressive herringbone traction pattern that offers good durability and traction. The grooves are spaced fairly wide and deep, giving you a hard grip on the floor. The traction on the Dame 5 is money. You got the squeaks, you got the grip, you get the stop on a dime. It is money money. The traction pattern is fairly wide and aggressive where you're able to stop and go at any direction you want and it grips the floor really, really hard. They do collect some dust on a dusty court, but nothing a wipe can't fix. But on super duper dusty courts, <clears throat> on the court that I hoop in my league games, there are some slipping issues. I have my fair shares of slipping from time to time, but that's mostly the court's fault. As far as outdoor use, the outsole is strong and durable enough for y'all to take these outdoors and drop some buckets. For the materials on my pair of the Dame Fives, it consists of a soft synthetic leather upper from head to toe. Whereas the other colorways have different materials where they have a two-piece upper that features mesh and a felt-like suede. The materials are nice and soft and feels great on your foot, especially the inside of the shoe where it's nice nicely padded. The shoe is also very lightweight and flexible and I haven't hooped in the other colorways but I did try them on in stores and they feel just as nice as the leather version. But I've heard and seen that the colorways that has the felt, they don't really hold up fairly nicely when it comes to wear and tear. I mean the idea of having felt on your shoe, they are going to collect dust and lint, they're going to get dirty easier and it's gonna be hard to clean. But in terms of hooping and performance wise, I feel like they can be pretty solid as well. For support and lockdown, the Dame 5 has a three quarter collar that provides nice ankle support and comfort. Inside of the ankle collar, you have a ton of cushion pillows to keep you locked in and feeling good. Lastly, there is a soft TPU midfoot overlay that gives you good lateral support. The support on the Dame 5 is great. Why? It has a separate tongue and not no one piece booty. Not saying that the one piece booty sneakers are not good, but I personally prefer the separate tongue set up better. Now one of my favorite parts of the shoe I have got to say is the inside of the shoe where it has a ton of these cushion pillows that makes your foot feel hella, hella good in terms of comfort inside and also giving you a lot of good support. It's so nice and plush inside, it's like you just want to snuggle up and go to sleep. I'm kidding, but for real though, they are very nice and supportive. And y'all ever seen Dame do his power sidestep three-pointer? Yeah, it's all thanks to this big guy right here. This TPU overlay gives you the support you need to explode laterally for any movements you make. The base of the shoe is very flat and wide which gives you good stability and the lacing system on these does a good job of locking in your foot. For cushion, the Dame 5 has full length bounce cushioning that provides springy comfort. The bounce cushioning on these are nice, it's springy and responsive. It's not like the spongy and soft like feeling that you guys get in boost. If you guys like more of that low to the ground feeling, something you guys don't get in the boost cushioning setup, these babies are it bounce cushioning. It also has a really nice and smooth heel to toe transition with every step that you take. The only downfall for me is that I wish the cushioning in the forefoot area was a little bit thicker. It feels really thin up there where it doesn't have as much spring compared to the heel. The good thing about it is is that it makes you move and play quick and responsive and low to the ground. Kind of similar to the Dame 4s but the cushioning on these are a lot more plush. Besides that, the cushioning on the Dame 5 is pretty solid. As far as comfort and size fit goes, these run a little big where you gotta go a half size down. For some reason, for all the Dame line sneakers, I have to go a half size down from a 10.5 to a 10. Going a half size down, these fit perfect for me. It's not too snug, nor is it too loose where I have a lot of open space around my foot. The Dame 5 may be the best fitting shoe in terms of fitment in the Dame signature sneaker line. And do I have to say anything more about the comfort? I think I've said enough about how comfortable these are. They feel good. And for all y'all wide footers, y'all might have to go true to size, but as I always mentioned before, you guys try it out in store before you guys cop. And as far as pricing goes, the Adidas Dame 5 retails for $115, a great performance hoop shoe at a low and affordable price. It is a top of the line hoop shoe around that price range. And for my overall rating for the Adidas Dame 5s, I'm gonna give these a score 
a 4.5 out of 5. Hands down, this is the best Dame shoe in his signature line, previously owned by the Dame 2s. The Dame 5 combines the best of every category and everything about the shoe is great. There's no issues, maybe except for the traction and for the other colorways, you know, a lot of people might not like that felt material. And for my personal playing preference, I just wish it had a little bit more cushioning where it's a little thicker in the forefoot area and these might be the first sneaker to ever get a 5 out of 5. I promise you guys, you will not get disappointed if you guys are hooping in the Dame 5s. If y'all looking for a shoe where you guys got nothing to worry about, you know what time it is. It's Dame time.